All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're down here, Plantation, Beaumont, here on a brand new 2022 Game Fish 30. With my man Iggy, top salesman here of All Sea Hunt in the whole nation. How are you guys? Good morning. And he's gonna take us on and show us all the new features that you guys can expect on the new 2022 Game Fish 30. So here we go, guys. All right, we're starting here in the front. Here, we pretty much have the same thing that I have in my boat. This is the forward seating. They yeah, do have the coffin top here. So yeah, any changes in the, here in the forward helm area from, from 2020 to 2022? None, not at all. The only change that happened up here was actually uh, three years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. It was in 2019 to 2020 when they widened the hull. So if you see right here where the bolster does this, Mm -hmm. This used to come in just like this and they made it about six inches wider. Nice. So this front part of it has been just about the same. Uh, the bolster was improved a little bit as well. So there's more bolster coverage than we did mm -hmm. three years ago. But this forward part is just about the same. The past year. Like, I, like, I, like I always say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right guys? <laughs> so yeah, up here you got your storage here. You have a little here. I, I use my dock lines pretty much in here. You got your windlass up front, of course, that you can control it not only from here, but you can control it from back there also so now let's get into the helm all righty now in the helm i myself see a couple things that are different yeah. so what changed here from the last model to this one so here you're definitely going to see a few different things let's start over here with the screens these screens were uh, uh, 1242s and now they're 1243s uh differences are going to be some processing this is going to be a little bit faster yeah, this does not cool. have the sd card in the front mm -hmm. so it, it is it, it's a lot more waterproof it has it in the back and they're micro sd you cannot do the sd um, okay. so it's just a little one it has two ports for it it comes with a 32 gigabyte uh card in it already so the, these guys are going to be 1243s uh, they're going to be flush just the same these are thinner screens you can't tell that because of the way that sihan installs it mm -hmm. uh, this joystick right now for this year we have the yamaha ex okay mm -hmm. so it is it's got a lot of things that, are, that i find a lot better than last year um five speeds it's got to be the biggest change for my customer somebody who's never had the joystick before now they can have uh, a much slower speed than than the normal speed that you have in your boat right um so i find that to be pretty cool mm -hmm. uh the trim tabs are now bennett bennett was purchased by yamaha and yamaha being right there with seahawk um you know these trim tabs have to change and there is a couple of things a little different between lenko and, and the bennett trim tabs mm -hmm. um your binnacle is a little different than yours it look um, nicer so they look more modern this is the ex version of it a little bit shorter it does have speed control here mm -hmm. so if you want to be trolling uh let's say uh, two and a half miles an hour it'll actually put the boat into pattern uh shift activated where it'll come on and off of here to nice. achieve the speed that you're asking for we can do that here now if you like look at this so to activate it we're going to hit the speed control down once you do that you see speed control activated right here right now we have it at four miles an hour we're going to dial that back down now watch what's going to happen once you got it at two and a half miles an hour you're going to get right here pattern shift activated it showed up yep, here and it. very soon here you're going to see these engines go from forward into neutral yep. all on their own while they while they're sitting here mm -hmm. we're still going on the same route yep i just caught it right there where it went from neutral to shift and it's going back and forth there it is so neutral that, now it engaged also to make sure it keeps that speed Damn, that's fancy <laughs> so there's a few scenarios where that's absolutely awesome and you're trolling let's say we have i don't know if you ever heard of the alamorado hump but it's mm -hmm. like a main place for us to fish here for tuna for wahoo mahi and because it's a hump it's like a circle and when you're going around at the top of it or the bottom of it you're going to be doing half or twice the speed mm -hmm. due to the current and the wind speed so being able to uh, activate that you no longer have to pay attention to the speed and you can do if it's wild let's say you're doing 11 miles an hour or whatever it may be um you can do that another scenario where i found that useful is uh, water skiing with my kids or water skiing myself where my kids want you know that right speed somewhere around 21 miles an hour mm -hmm. and um, we're able to achieve that no matter how many turns or what we're doing i'm able to maintain that speed and not slow down too much where they're sinking down into the water or speed up too much mm -hmm. where it becomes dangerous for them right. same when the wife drives for me and i'm wakeboarding so mm -hmm. so that speed control feature i find it to be pretty cool also i did see that the screen right here changed also this screen um it's a lot more 
uh, thinner. It is a little bit, it is a little bit smaller, but I do see the colors look a lot better. Now, this is the one that comes standard with Yamaha, right? Yes. Yeah, so the one that you have on your boat is called a CL7, mm -hmm. and that seven stands for the size of the screen. Mm -hmm. And this is called a CL5. So mm -hmm. this is a five-inch screen, and the one that you have is a seven-inch screen. Right. So that seven is discontinued now. It's Yamaha's no longer gonna make it. And yes, mm -hmm. it did have that thick footprint right. where it's where it's a, a, a thick, almost an inch worth mm -hmm. of thickness. Um, this is a lot more slim and yes like you said it is it is very touch screen yeah it looks sharper no the colors you can see the it's colors more vibrant 100 yep. yep. the yep. contrast on it and this right here the speed control this is where you would change that from rpm um, to gps i have to bring it to neutral but this is where it is on that mm -hmm. menu where right. i can also do that not only by miles an hour but also do it by rpms as well mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah very cool feature all righty all right, towards the back of the boat, we still got our bench that pops up here. Not, not much has changed. We got our big cooler. How many gallons is this? Oh, you got me there. Too. We got it in quarts. <laughs> in quarts. I think I fit in there, honestly, guys. And of course, you got your live well right back here. Back here behind the sea, we also have two live wells here. In my boat, this is where you get the sea keeper. So if you get the sea keeper, you do lose these two. But if not, you got more live wells right all right, now the main thing that changed this year, the new Yamahas. Can you tell us what changed with the new Yamahas on the Sea Hunt? So in total, there's a total of 17 things in total that changed, that were improved. Uh, from the lower unit to the prop, to uh, the steering, obviously it's a big one, mm -hmm. uh, to the way that we flush them. So look, now we can flush these right here. So if you, if you keep your boat on a lift, you're able to flush it here as well and all that comes to the rigging too so um, i'll tell you what out of those 17 things the things that mean the most to me reverse thrust electric steering and the and the amount of cleanliness the reliability mm -hmm. those are the big three for me um, and we got to throw in there the fact that they just look, look amazing look, actually, yeah, <laughs> okay look, we, we got to throw that in there that looks amazing the look is absolutely amazing yep. this obviously comes from the 425 mm -hmm. it's a very proven technology with the electric steering um, you can program how many it's called lock to lock how many turns it takes you to turn from four full left to full right on this boat and you can change that at different rpms as well <laughs> wow so if you're going slow and you want a lot of response we can make it four turns and when you're going full speed we can make that 11 turns nice and so those are all part of all, all the things that you can do now that you have electric steering computers yeah man this guy is making me want to upgrade real soon i was thinking maybe in a year or two but man the new technology just changes year and year it's, it's it's insane but now guys we're gonna see if we get on on plane and give you a little bit of performance on the boat now all right guys iggy's gonna show you guys how this boat gets on plane only using one yamaha 300 that's right guys only one yamaha we're gonna show you guys how quick we get on plane with this boat all right whenever you're ready let's do it
stick in action, guys. Alright guys, we're back here on shore. It was an awesome sea trial. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Now we're gonna ask a couple questions to here to, to Ignacio. So Ignacio, if people make an order, let's say today, for a boat like this, when can they expect to get their boat? Okay, so the 30th is the hardest out of the whole sea hunt line to get. But if we order one today, you're probably looking sometime September, October. Gotcha, and today is the 27th of December, just for reference, guys. That is correct. So that's when you guys could, because now do you guys do your own financing here? We have financing here. We work with a bunch of banks, depending upon how your credit is. We would put you with a bank that works the best with you. Banks are doing 20 years, incredible rates. So it's really, really good time to finance. Awesome. So if they want, if, I'm going to put his number in the description. So if you guys got any questions, you're going to come see Ignacio here at Plantation Boat Mart. All right, guys? Thank you.